Hi everyone, I am Surbhi Mahajan and as you must have guessed from the title of my talk, I am an Elastic Certified Engineer. Uh, I've been working with Elastic, uh, with the Elastic Stack for around uh, four years and I decided to get certified last year. And uh, today I will be talking about my preparation process using the self-study route. Um, so to start with, uh, why get certified? What, what motivated me to finally go for it? So Elastic has essentially become the de facto standard for observability solutions and enterprise search. And um, with their impressive uh, with their impressive customer portfolio and the entire ecosystem of products that has developed around it, I realized that being an Elastic certified engineer will not just be another line on my resume. It's just it's, it's a it's a recognition from Elastic itself about my technical expertise in the domain. And that that does bring in opportunities. And um, once I did start preparing, I realized that there were uh, quite a few features that I knew about, but um, had never implemented. And learning about those and understanding those really helped me use the stack in a much better way, much more efficient way. Uh, moving on to uh, how I prepared. So uh, first off, I took the official engineering one and two trainings, but I took them about two years before writing the exam. And anyone who has used uh, the stack would know how much it evolves in two years. So um, to actually prepare for the exam, I took the long and winding road of self-study. Uh, I started by uh, watching a webinar by Rich Raposa, who is also the um, author of the exam. And he goes in great detail about what to expect and how to navigate it. So um, do watch it without skipping. Uh, the next thing is uh, to familiarize uh, myself with the documentation because uh, I knew that we had access to the documentation during the exam. So uh, there is no need to really memorize anything. What you need to do is I mapped each of the exam objectives to topics in the documentation and I went through them one by one. And since the Elasticsearch documentation is so vast and um, it, it it is very easy to get distracted by all the interesting things in it. So I had to keep pulling myself back on track to first go through and practice every topic that um, that was going to be in the exam and was present in the syllabus before I meandered in other avenues of the talk. Um, then there are two different ways to look for anything in the Elasticsearch documentation. The first is the search bar. Which, um, which is helpful if you know exactly what you're looking for. But I personally found that the navigation bar on the right hand side of the dock was uh, much more convenient and quick if you knew where to look. So essentially my approach was to be able to identify what topic a question uh, was from and how to look for it in the documentation quickly, unless of course you know what exactly to write in the answer. Uh, and then I cannot stress this enough that even though I had worked with Elastic for quite some time and was very well versed with the documentation. The hands-on practice that I did during my prep benefited me a lot. Uh, so I uh, set up a cluster, implemented security, added some sample data to it using Kibana, and then wrote custom mappings, uh, queries, aggregations, ingest pipelines, analyzers, basically everything that uh, was given in the exam objectives. Uh, from the documentation perspective, be sure to uh, refer to the documentation of the same version that the exam is on, which is given in the FAQs. Uh, then there is this four-part series of blogs by Gidal and Akota on uh, Medium, which uh, has practice exercises very similar to those in the exam. And uh, doing that was a huge confidence booster for me. And uh, just to calm my nerves, what I did was I curated a list of links to important points in the documentation which had good examples. For example, the update API page has really good examples for painless scripting. So that was the last minute sifting that I uh, created. And uh, that sort of sums up my, exam in, uh, my, my preparation process. As far as the uh, exam experience goes, it, is, uh, it had about 10 to 12 tasks which had to be completed, very practical and hands-on that you would do on an actual cluster. Sometimes you had to set up the cluster yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, the exam is not tricky. Anything that has to be done is asked very clearly in the questions. So there's no point second guessing what it might mean because I lost around 15, 20 minutes uh, doing that. And um, after submitting the exam, uh, I got the result in under 24 hours and I was deemed an Elastic Certified Engineer. Uh, this is a link to a very detailed LinkedIn article that I wrote on the same topic. It has uh, all the relevant links. 
And uh, I hope this was helpful for anyone looking to get certified. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Subhi, for a nice talk. I, I guess like you covered a lot of points, but I definitely have thank you. Uh, some questions to you uh, for sure. Uh, meanwhile, if we have some questions, I'll definitely ask you about that. Uh, so I, 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 I definitely want to know uh, that did you also like, uh, you know, uh, do what sort of role? Is it something around observability or on elastic stack or is it search engines that you have built? Uh, I mean, do you need to be a search engineer to do Elastic Certified Engineer or like, what, what is it? That, that's not really the case. I have mostly worked with observability solutions uh, heavily on the logging side of things, enterprise logging side of things. But uh, I realized there were some things, of course, for example, I had not delved into the scripting part. And the exam helped me understand all of those things and leverage the Elastic Stack better in what I was doing. So for example, now I put watcher alerts with very advanced so um, I strictly have been more on the observability side, but uh, I think the exam in itself prepares you in a, in a very overall manner in terms of using the stack. Okay, so so did you also prepare? Uh, sorry for asking more questions, but I definitely want to you know uh, share more community, uh, share more information to the community. Why are you? So I just want to understand, like, do you also uh, did you also like get to like do the trainings? Was it helpful? Did you do, do any uh, third party trainings or elastic trainings on elastic search? Yeah, so I, I took the elastic search engineer one and two trainings um, and uh, the official training, the official trainings, they were very, very helpful. But uh, I took them about two, three years, back, like two years before I wrote them. And that's, that's a long time, I think, in elastic timeline because it evolves so much. Uh, okay, okay. But the trainings are definitely very helpful. Yeah, so so uh, one final question I have uh, related to the topics itself is like you you narrate you you gave a list of topics as well like the ingest pipelines etc. Uh, so is uh, so because Elasticsearch is like a vast uh, topic and also yeah. you have a lot of interacting components. Uh, what do you say to uh, people who are preparing? How many months it would take, or uh, should they like you know just uh, keep up their confidence if they are good at searching documentation? and finding out answers then and there, would they be able to get certified pretty, pretty easily? See, it's not very difficult. It took me about two, three weeks since I had been working with Elasticsearch for some time. But I think I think a month should be enough for anyone who's even starting from scratch. Uh, I would not recommend just like, you know, just going without prep, without hands-on practice, because even if you have worked a lot with it, I think there's no point wasting those three hours looking for things in the documentation and trying to skip. So I think prep is very important from my point. Uh, but even if someone's starting from scratch, it's, it's not that difficult. Just stick to the exam objectives. Keep referring to it again and again because the doc is fast to get lost. So, so what Surbi says is like, please stick to the exam objectives, download that and like probably map it to something. And I then know. keep referring. Probably might you have <laughs> something there, and to uh, to get certified. So thank you, yeah. Subhi. Thank you for answering uh, uh, all of the questions or doubts. And uh, I wish, like through your LinkedIn blog, many people would like get more information. Yeah. Thank you for the session. Yeah. Thank you.